Hey, what's up? All right, we're in our space dimension today, and that's because we're going to be trying some custom jigsaw dungeon type thingies spawning in here. So that should be fun. These guys are just having a blast. <laughs> so this is where we've been making our custom jigsaw dungeon thingies. Uh, it's kind of full. <laughs> we, we, we need a different place. But for anyone that's not familiar with what these jigsaw dungeon thingies can do, I wanted to just sort of give you a visual so you know, you know, everyone's on the same page. So basically, jigsaws take a room or a pool of rooms and then they randomly assemble them together like this. And they work in 3D so you know, you can go up and sideways and down and around and yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with them. But it all starts with assembling the ow. <laughs> the individual rooms. So I like the rooms being out here, so I think we'll just expand this way. So uh, I'll cut to a little short breaking montage. Truly an inspiring uh, montage, I'm sure. Look at these guys. <laughs> they're, so they're trying to kill me and they have a uh, Stormtrooper levels of aim. <laughs> As you can see, that one died. <laughs> That's because I've been trying to get them to uh, crossfire. Because that way we don't get the uh, effect. <laughs> now there's, there's only one guy left. All right, sir. This way. Just take one step down here. Or like a lot of steps down. Anyways. So what are we making first? I was thinking we would go actually with this comment. So I thought this comment was pretty cool and clever. They're saying we could make little spaceships and have them like spawn in our space dimension. So, oh, I'm gonna need way more than that. So we could try and design something here and we could make it be um, sectional. This is, wow, this is a very bad spaceship. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, we need some glass, but fortunately, Let's get some coal from here. We just got a ton of glass and I've already put sand in these uh, furnaces. Nope, that's not cool. So what I'm thinking here is there's pretty much two ways we can go about it. So if this is like the rough shape of the, the starship, we can either have it be like an entire, like this whole starship can be one room. And then we could have another starship that this is this is smaller than it would be, but just for an example, we could have like a UFO one. So there'd be like, that would be A, this would be B, and they wouldn't mix up. Or we could have, say this section be one room, and then this wing be another room, and then the engines be another room. And so then each room would have alternates, you know? Even just me placing the blocks and seeing it visually, I feel like this is gonna be more fun. Now, I don't know if this was the size that the commenter had in mind, but I would like the ship to be big enough for a person to fit in because we're going to be doing some map, map maker stuff here. We're going to be like putting resources and relevant things in here because we want our dimension to be good to go to, right? Have reasons for visiting and fun things to find. So we're probably not going to build it totally out of uh, iron, although this might be a good resource to get. But basically, we're, we're going to want there to be space inside. You can really tell somebody's building skills when they try and build at small scale. That's what I'll say. Spoiler alert. <laughs> You're about to see how uh, not good my building abilities are, but that's okay. We have jigsaw blocks to make up for it. So now we're going to split it apart into the respective uh, sections. So we're going to actually have some space in between each part. Kind of like that. So the nose will be separate. Yeah, like this. Okay. So you, you'll notice I'm leaving a bunch of extra space here. I'm thinking we can make this main room. One of them will be longer, maybe. I was trying to set up the borders here, and uh, you'll notice how I still have hearts. That means I'm in survival mode. And what that means is things don't save. So, oh, saved. Can I save anything into it? What? Now it reverted. 
Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. So they broke stuff. Um, we actually we're not in twenty. We're not in oh nine like we were last episode. I rolled back because all the component stuff. There's probably still sorting some stuff out there. So, but even on this one, the advancement that tracks that like clicking motion. You see the the swing. That is broken. The only way it works now is I think I have to place. Yeah, I have to actually place the structure block but it doesn't just detect me like swinging it. Anyway, so what we're gonna have to do is I, I uh, added a thing in. So we're just, we're always gonna be in creative mode when we are holding the structure block. It's not ideal, it's honestly annoying, but it means we can progress. And so that is going to be good enough. There we go, we got our little box. Okay, I'm gonna set all the other bounding boxes up and we can actually start building these. Excellent. So I collected a bunch of stuff here. Hopefully something of this is going to make us a, uh, a spaceship. Where I first wanted to start was the engines because that was the best idea I had. Like, look at this. Doesn't that kind of look like engine heat or something a little bit? Like we would need to cover the sides of the blocks, but I feel like it could work. Um, I also got the, uh, the shroom lights as well. Those actually almost have more of a fiery look. This is a little more um, regular, I guess. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, look, that kind of looks like fire. Oh, I thought about the okra frog lights as well. This is probably the most trapdoors I've ever made. I figure we're going to be using them a fair bit. Oh, which is better? The fire or just the bright light? Ah, oh, wait, we have to power these to put them sideways. Ooh, take a look at this. Okay, so I'm trying quartz instead of the iron. And I just have like one engine block here. And then I used the levers and made them kind of connect. It's all right. I do kind of like the quartz. I'm wondering if we should make smooth quartz so that we don't get the tiled texture. Like, because when we start working over here, the tiled texture may look a little strange. Hello. But at any rate, I really like this block for the engine and uh, I think we might be able to make these levers work. Ooh, almost forgot. We have a bunch of glass in here. I'm gonna cook up half the stack as smooth quartz and we'll just, we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at the smooth quartz. Now that looks like a connected hole. All right, so we're probably just going to use quartz. And we have the advantage of being able to use slabs and stairs if we need to. Like, for example, this bottom half, we might actually just want to be slabs. And one of the things that we need to start thinking about now is, and, and you'll need your map maker hat for this, is like, how do we want the player to get resources? AKA me, right? There has to be a reason. It can't just look cool. It's not enough. There needs to be something we gain. So having one shroom light, actually, I didn't think about this, but it actually is, it's pretty nice. Like personally, I would want, I would like tear these ships down just to collect this. But I was thinking about it more and uh, I've been having lots of redstone issues. You can see I only have three, <laughs> 14. We're poor when it comes to redstone. So I thought it might make sense if we freed up inventory space. <laughs> uh, what I was thinking though is it might make sense if there was say a redstone block here because then it's like you know the redstone is sort of the core the power core it's powering the engine and once again it gives incentive for me to like break into these spaceships and not just like leave them as they are but actually like search them out. So um, for now we'll roll with that we'll see we don't want anything that's too overpowered, right? We're not like trying to, I don't want to get rich off these spaceships, but I do want there to be like a, ooh, yes, we see a spaceship, let's go get it, you know? There should be some level of excitement, level of excitement, just like seeing them and, and searching them. Ooh, look what slabs did. Look at this. Look at the shape here. That's a, that's a nice shape. I don't have it on the other side because I'm, missing a few slabs. I guess I have four. 
But yeah, I mean, you can see it just creates a far nicer shape. And the wing looks nicer too. The nose looks nicer. I bet this looks nicer. Yeah, and I'm realizing smooth quartz. I would go mine smooth quartz. I like smooth quartz in case you can't tell. So uh, I think maybe we're just going to turn all this quartz. You know, I've just had another idea here. We need a pilot for this ship to make it interesting. But presumably the pilot would be dead, right? Like maybe a zombie? That's a pretty good idea, right? Let's uh, make a little cage for him. Ow! Get over there. He's not a good listener. I guess that makes sense. Ooh, my goodness. Wait, should we put both of them in a cage? Probably. And wait a second. Come here, zombies. Oh, perfect. Pick up some of my blocks. That way you'll stick around longer. Big fan. Big fan. Make sure they don't die. Ah! See, that's why I hate just like forcing into a uh, creative mode. I was thinking we could put like some sort of a, a crafting table or, you know, some sort of console looking thing over there. Um, but I can't figure out what to put there. I don't know if we have something like this. These blocks wouldn't be here, but when we get close, it kind of opens up. I mean, it's interactive, sort of. If you click on it and it says enchant, you know, that's a little weird. <laughs> so that's one idea. <laughs> we could potentially just add some lights into those spots as well. You know, something like that and that. Those colors aren't right. Mm, well, maybe they were better than the frog lights. Hmm. You know what? I think I can handle the sea lanterns because if you look, very similar colors. That's a little brighter and a little bit um, less green. This one's a little more turquoisey, but they're close enough that it kind of makes sense. And then the red matches here. The gray is maybe a little off, but I think I can deal with it. So basically the most valuable pieces will be the, the engine and then the cockpit. And then, you know, this is okay and the wings are pretty decent. So it should be worth uh, taking out. Did I see a creeper down there? I did. <laughs> Glad I didn't just drop right down. Get out of here. So next step here is we actually need to connect them with the jigsaw blocks. But one of the jigsaw blocks is going to have to like break one of these, probably the bottom one. So we needed to know what blocks were there before we placed them. So what we shall do, do I have a stone cutter somewhere? Aha, <laughs> I would like to not waste purper. We need purper to make jigsaw blocks and I do not have any jigsaw blocks. So we definitely have to make some. All right. There's a decent chance we're going to be reusing a bunch of these <laughs> jigsaw blocks, but, uh, well. And now all we need to do is we need to take our driver and put him in. And one of the things I was thinking of was we should actually give our driver some sort of nice equipment. Something that would be decent to pick up. Maybe not, you know, this good, but like, like a Lytra. No, <laughs> I mean, I guess we could give him a totem of undying. But that would just be ironic, given that it's a zombie. <laughs> I mean, we could give him a sword, maybe a diamond one. Sharpness and fire aspect. <sighs> That's maybe too good. I've hatched a bit of a plan. We're going to snag some of this ore. And I think if we give them... Oh no, where was it? Aha! Yes. Inventory's full. So my thought here was that they could be miners and then we could vary the ships and different ships would have like different ores, but then it would still be valuable coming in um, to like loot them or whatever, because then they'd have like, say, okay, probably not this much in a, a ship that's this crammed, but something like this. And then you get like a fortune three pickaxe from the uh, driver 
And so then you can get like a lot of loot out of it. So it would kind of all match. Uh, maybe in this ship, we would just like, we would just put an ore block in the back and have this kind of be like the trunk or something. Okay, so Fortune 3 on average drops about six redstone dust. It can go anywhere from four to eight. So that is in all cases less than one redstone block, which is a little sad, but I feel like I'm okay with this, especially if this is maybe the lowest tier of ship and then we're gonna make some slightly bigger ships. So that could work out. Let's get the driver up there. So first we give him fortune three pick and hope he switches. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, and then I just need to bait him. Actually, I need to cover this path up, I think. Technically the helmet protects him, but I would like his helmet to have pretty solid dirt, whoops durability before we save him there we go and now we just hope he follows me good also it might be kind of hard to get him into this hole answer yes <laughs> Come on, right here. Oh, excellent. Wow, perfect. Easy. Easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> now, would you like to explain, sir, how come I can't place a block on your head? And how come you can hit me from like three years away? Hmm, that's weird. Okay, here is the plan. Pretty simple plan, really. Now, <laughs> what a twerp. Doesn't he realize he's lucky? He gets to go to space, you know? Everybody wants to go to space, right? Except for uh, the people that don't. Okay, so now we can save this. And we go to include entities on. Save, and he should be our pilot now for body number one. Okay, this has taken a lot longer than I expected. So I think um, the variants we're gonna make are going to be pretty, pretty small changes. I have I have a couple ideas though. I'll, uh, I'll cook them up here. All right, that is the last one. This is an intentionally terrible viewing angle <laughs> so that we can uh, have a little bit of surprise at the end. And, uh, hmm, I wonder if the new things I made have anything to do with this giant hole and, uh, certain items in my inventory. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done here. And this is going to be a bigger, like, main body. In fact, it's going to be too wide. So the wings, and I'll just gloss over the uh, differences there for now. Um, the wings are three. So one, two, three. And then there's going to be a second set of wings starting here. One, two, three. The interesting thing, though, is the wings have this open spot. So in the front, we have a glass block to block it. But I don't want to just do the same thing. So I was like, hmm, how could we do this? Well, I thought, what about trap doors? It's just kind of interesting, like, same problem. Whoopsie. Different solution, you know? So he's gonna. this guy's going to have a, a lot of cargo. I'm really leaning heavily into the whole minor thing. And I just need to close this all up. Okay, Jigsaw has been moved from the middle to the back. Yeah, that's a good size. Make sure all the air holes are filled. Should be red inside and blue, or no, red outside and blue inside. These are structure voids. Short version is that reds can be overridden by blocks in the world and blues can't. So it's actually saving an air block in there, which we want because we don't want the zombie to like start suffocating because he spawns inside of an asteroid or something dumb. There we go. Installed two extra jigsaw blocks. I had to uh, snag them from the wings <laughs> because we're low on redstone. But uh, yeah, body two, save. Okay, so now I pretty much just have to copy this. Uh, there's basically a template pool file that contains all these rooms, and then I need to swap them over to our new spaceship variants. 
which by the way took a lot longer than I expected, my goodness. Okay, that's copied, no errors, or at least none that show up right now. <laughs> and next, I need to clear out this whole dimension and slap in our dungeon into the natural generation so that it actually like shows up. Okay, deleted the dimension. I had to make a ton of like little things. Uh, you know what? I do not want to risk this stuff. Oh, these are all full. <laughs> okay, <laughs> everything's going in here. But yeah, I just made a bunch of like little changes, made like probably, I want to say four separate files. They really space things out with Minecraft. I should actually bring a dumb pick, but in case we want to mine stuff or like a weapon or something. Actually, wait, I think it may be time for all of the, <laughs> all of the weapons gained from end cities to come into play, I guess. All right, so. This is all we need, right? Probably. I really hope this works because there was a bunch of stuff and like there's a lot that really could go wrong, I think. Um, is it generating? Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Hmm. Oh no, there's a phantom on my tail. I haven't found anything yet. Get out of here. Also, may I just say, it is super creepy. I think we did a good job with this space biome because it's like, you, you, you can't tell which way is up and which way is down. <laughs> Actually, you know what we can do? I believe we can locate spaceship. Okay, so it didn't spawn. That's what we needed to know. Although, it was in the list. Like... It's right there, Talon Spaceship 1. So it, it half worked. <laughs> Do you see what this says? <laughs> so it looks like we got an unknown block type, smooth quartz block. So maybe I'm a smooth brain and it's actually smooth quartz instead of smooth quartz block. <sighs> so why don't we just uh, take a peek at the smooth quartz in my inventory. It crashed again. <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> smooth quartz block. More like smooth quartz brain. Oh boy. <gasps> what? Oh. <gasps> Oh, um, excuse me? Hmm, the spaceship is missing some important components. <laughs> like the rest of it! <laughs> uh, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, there's a wing here. Somehow... It only spawned like one room. Oh my goodness. I'm an idiot again. I just, okay. I, I won't. <laughs> There's an error right now. Now you might think nothing looks weird here. It, it seems pretty normal, right? Well, I named it that. So it's looking for this, the jigsaws are, but I saved the template pool with the one. You want to know the best part about these uh, structures, though, is the fact that they're floating. I actually didn't think I would be able to place it in midair. So that's a really, really good sign. We just need to go to uh, some new chunks. Okay, look, the only reason I'm telling you this is because I think maybe you'll get a laugh out of it. But anyway, um, so <laughs> see how it says Minecraft <laughs> Spaceship? That's because I forgot to preface it with this is called a namespace and it happens to be the name of the data pack that the stupid space dimension is in. So I need to go change all of the stupid jigsaw blocks and everything is stupid, but I totally, it's totally going to work after that. I mean, 
yeah, look, <laughs> you can't even tell what this is. It'll make more sense when it's all together. Okay, we have to keep going to new chunks. Oh man, we're back to the green, scary green. I'm starting to really like the uh, the pink area. But yeah, rather than like uh, go back and edit every single jigsaw block, I actually used an NBT editor. Highly recommend. If you use command blocks, an NBT editor will save your life one of these days. It's how you can fix those errors. Like, you know, when you get stuck in a command block and you're teleporting up and down and up and down and up and down, you can't do anything. NBT editor. <laughs> I'll link it because it's just, I feel like it's one of those things that every, uh, every map maker should have. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Is this an, a full and complete ship with a random llama? I feel like the random llama makes it better, don't you? Oh. Oh. Really messed up the engine. There uh, <laughs> should have been a, a little bit positioned differently, I guess. <laughs> But hey, look at that. It's a spaceship. This is the thing I was trying to hide. I'm kind of surprised we got it on the first one, come to think of it. Um, oh, and I forgot the <laughs> pickaxe. <sighs> wow, big brain moves, big brain moves. But yeah, I really wanted to go all in with the, uh, the mining thing. So that's like there's a laser beam into like an asteroid. And then when you find these things, you know, sometimes if you find the, the resource pockets then you can you know mine all that the redstone you can like go back in there you can snag a redstone block i did uh, change it back to a redstone block because it just makes more sense with power and the way that minecraft works wait a second no this is perfect oh my goodness wait 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 the zombie has a pickaxe this is actually perfect oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, that's some foresight right there. I think that was a really good choice because then it's like you can actually take advantage of uh, of these collections of resources that you find. Oh, that is awesome. Wait. <gasps> no. Oh, this is kind of fun. The redstone flies away if you're not careful. Look at this though, a custom structure and a custom dimension. Little tiny ships, like how cool is that? Come on. It's all the more worth it for how much trouble we had as well. <laughs> oh boy. You might laugh at me, but I really need this redstone, okay? <laughs> this is a pretty fun way to get it too. And I was kind of worried about how uh, often the ships would be showing up, but they're they're not that common. Well. Ah, uh, that actually looks like another one over there. <laughs> Maybe I should take that back. Oh, and yeah, I, I kind of glossed over this, but I wanted to have sort of a, a corruption effect. Because you remember, like, Endstone, it's getting turned into Skulk, and that's kind of alien, like we had the Warden in that one episode. So I wanted to have, like, these, these broken down ships that are, like, slowly turning into, um, into like, decayed mold stuff so i thought that'd be kind of cool and honestly it does look really cool because like a lot of these ships aren't moving right and so that actually kind of causes a bit of an issue if we're trying to make this seem like it makes sense so we need an explanation for like oh wait nope no don't don't ship <laughs> we need an explanation for why they're not moving you know so i thought uh dk might be a decent one we have another uh, little mini asteroid gold that time oh you can see the other wing here i made a second wing style it's kind of u-shaped so i thought that was kind of awesome another broken wing <laughs> oh yeah look okay this is kind of cool so the place where the zombie would have been before there's a shrieker now and then it's all kind of corrupted over it's really interesting just seeing them be partially corrupted and stuff yeah so there you go Custom structures. That's pretty cool, right? Man, it's uh, quite a hassle. <laughs> Just to make one template pool work, I had to make four separate files. And one of the files didn't work, and so I had to like change stuff around. It's just, the more files are involved, the more places things can go wrong. That's, that's how that works. But this end result is pretty awesome, so. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
I was actually pleasantly surprised by how decent we were able to make these uh, these spaceships look. I mean, it took longer than I expected, but that's what you get for putting in the time, I guess. Pretty solid effort. But yeah, that is going to do it for me. Oh, there goes the space llama. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. This was a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll expand and make more template pools now that we know how it works. But yeah. That's it for me. Catch you next time. Later, later.